Good evening, friends. Welcome back to the shop. I'm at Racing Parts. When I put out the uh, sensor block last week, I had quite a few people asking about the three conductor cable and what I like to use. And so I thought I would show some examples of what's available and, and offer some advice for that. So first of all, you can buy this Belden type cable. Um, it has a polyethylene uh, insulation on the wire. It's 18 gauge and it's um, PVC jacketed. It has a drain wire and shield. These are the things that you're looking for. It's a high quality wire with insulation uh, and, a, and a foil shield with a drain wire so that you can connect, a, uh, connect your shields to a ground easily. Unfortunately, this is heavy and um, a little, little difficult to work with. It's kind of hard to bend. And it's unattractive, I think, anyway, with the gray, the gray outer covering. So, really don't use this anymore. It's something we used to use. Then there's a lighter version of it, which is in the, a 22 gauge, almost the same type construction. It just ends up a lot lighter and, <coughs> and um, a little bit smaller wire gauge. This is acceptable. It's easy to get in a small place. It's not too terribly heavy. Uh, but again, it's unattractive. In my opinion, it's unattractive because of the, the gray insulation. All your other wires and wire coverings are normally black. So it just kind of sticks out when it's in the car. And then Holly makes a nice cable um, that's used for their crank triggers. Um, you can buy it, I think, in 25 and 100 foot increments. I sell it by the foot here um, for guys that just need a short piece. It's a nice um, 20 gauge wire and a foil shield and a drain. Very, very flexible. Um, it's a little, little heavy. So the difference would be, well, let me finish with the wires. This wire is the one that's my preference. So this is a, a 22 gauge with a polypropylene insulation on the wire um, and PVC jacketed with a foil shield and drain wire. Um, this is very light, very flexible. It's um, just a little over an eighth of an inch in diameter. I think it's about 140. Whereas this is about 200, and this is over 200, and this is about a quarter inch. So a lot of different diameters. But this stuff here, like if you have 60 feet of wire in a car, this weighs less than a pound um, for all of it. This is just over a pound. Um, these two options, when you wire a car, you're looking at two pounds of wire and insulation that you've added. Now, I know a pound's not much, but you know, there's guys paying a thousand dollars to get a few pounds out of the battery. Um, they're, they're shaving weight everywhere they can, leaving washers off the car and stuff like that. So if you can get another pound out of the wiring, you know, why not do it? So this, this looks nice. It's black. It's small diameter. It's a nice wire, good quality insulation, and it's very lightweight. Um, I sell this. I sell these two. So I sell the Holly wire and this by the foot. Uh, the Holly stuff it runs about a buck a foot. This is a little bit more expensive. You're going to pay a dollar twenty-five for this, but I think it's superior in every way. You can you can route it easily. It's lightweight and it's a very durable wire. So that's my explanation of the different wires that I use, and hopefully that'll help some guys out. And we'll get this put up on the website for people that want to buy a little length of it <coughs> to wire some stuff on their car. So I'll have that available uh, later today. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.